In this video, I'll be comparing Notion and Obsidian for different use cases like task management, daily journaling, and note taking. I've been using Obsidian for a year and Notion for a few months, so I've been able to experiment with both apps and see what best works for me. Of course, your use cases might be different and I might be a little biased towards Obsidian, but I hope my reasons and examples can help you choose the right app for your own needs. Without any further ado, Let's start with the first case of task and project management. I actually used to use Obsidian to manage my to-do list and projects, but after having an affair and trying out Notion for a bit, I don't think I can go back. First off, I really enjoy the simplicity and functionality of Notion database views. Whether it be Kanban boards, calendar views, or simple lists, Notion lets you organize your tasks the way you want to. On the other hand, Obsidian also has its own tables and Kanban plugins, but you don't have as much creative freedom in the layout like Notion allows. For example, you can move and embed things in Notion to fit all in one page, but the same can't be said for Obsidian. Anyways, another selling point of Notion is its extensive property support. The only fields you can set for Obsidian are text-based metadata, which is quite limiting in comparison to Notion support for dates, multi-selections, and checkboxes. With these properties, you can easily sort and filter your pages, which is a bit more tedious to do when doing it in Obsidian. Unlike how you can just change the views or sorts in Notion, for Obsidian you'd have to either modify the code or create a new table entirely. With Notion's features, I have different Kanban boards for things like my monthly goals, projects, and YouTube videos which then have different viewing options and sorting methods. If you want to learn more, I go a bit more in depth in my trying Notion for a week video. If you want to see how I used to set things up in Obsidian, you can watch my dedicated task and project management video, although it is a bit outdated. Anyways, after praising Notion, it's time to stop neglecting my precious purple child. Obsidian, of course. I actually- I don't have kids. This might be a spicy hot take, but I think Obsidian is a clear winner when it comes to note taking. First off, the Zettelkasten methodology of Obsidian has helped me become more holistic in my note taking approach. The app makes it super easy to form connections with other notes using Wikilinks, which I can then view using the graph view or the backlinks pane. Instead of only using folders as a structure, I can use these connections to create an interconnected web of my ideas and view things from a higher order perspective. A second thing I'd like to note, haha, <laughs> get it, is the Obsidian community's content ecosystem. Even after using Obsidian for a year, sources like the Active Discord or Eleanor's weekly roundup help introduce new plugins, workflows, and discussions to improve my own system. Second, I just generally prefer the typing and user experience when taking notes on Obsidian compared to Notion. Instead of the lag and page loading I experience 24-7 in Notion, the different hotkeys and plugins on Obsidian make note taking more fluid and efficient. I find things like the note quick switcher useful for easily searching and creating notes, and paired with hotkeys to add or close panes, it makes navigating my notes super fluid. Then I can further speed up my note taking by having templates and cursor locations to quickly create my notes. There's way more actions you can set hotkeys for, just look at this list, there's so many. The formatting syntax of Markdown might take some time to get used to but it virtually provides the same features as Notion, so you're not really missing out there. Lastly, Notion allows you to structure your notes and add columns, but it's a pain to open notes side by side as you have to open new tabs to do so. I much prefer Obsidian's sliding panes feature that lets me smoothly navigate through my different notes. Another view available are the sidebars in Obsidian. This lets me use different widgets to help me show the outline or graph of the note I'm currently on, easily access starred or recent files opened, or view backlinks with other notes like mentioned earlier. You can save these different view combinations into workspaces depending on what you're doing. I have workspaces for when I write book notes to pick up where I left off from my previous reading session. Now that I've covered one good thing for each app, what's something they're both capable of doing? daily, and weekly notes. If you want to maintain a daily journal or conduct weekly reviews, 
you can honestly use either app to fill this need. I personally like to use Obsidian for daily notes and Notion for weekly notes. When I'm journaling, I like to reflect, which can lead to some neat insights I may want to expand on. In Obsidian, I can make notes to elaborate on these thoughts and further flesh them out using prompts, which I can then connect to related ideas in my vault. Although I did say properties are better in Notion, I can easily include inline metadata throughout my note to keep track of different statistics in the relevant sections. I can then review these values using graphs to visualize things like my energy levels throughout a week. For weekly reviews, I also used to use Obsidian, but I've recently switched to Notion. I like to plan for the future, so I think it's more convenient to have it in the same place as my tasks and projects, just for easy transfer. I also like having the different database views to creatively group the different parts of my weekly review which allows me more creativity than a linear header system like Obsidian. If I were to make 7 different sections for my weekly review each time in Obsidian, it would only clutter my vault. Now that you know a bit about the strengths and weaknesses of each app, here's an example on how I would go about incorporating both of them into a certain area in my life. To use both apps to their utmost potential in my school life, I take all my notes in Obsidian and do literally everything else in Notion. As I mentioned earlier, I just greatly prefer the smooth note-taking experience Obsidian provides. Being able to visualize a concept map of my notes helps fit all of the specific details and concepts into one big picture. People like to make exam review notes on Notion using toggle blocks to hide information, but you can do the same using Obsidian. Better yet, you can make flashcards to make the review process active and effective, which I have a video on if you're interested in learning more. On the other hand, I use Notion's databases to organize things like assignments, study plans, and timetables as they're more for planning and less about permanent knowledge I would want to keep in my notes. Instead of using Google Docs or Sheets, I'd use Notion's tables instead to have everything just all in one place. It's rather tedious to collaborate or share notes on Obsidian, so Notion also helps with their shareable links and online editing. I used to be quite the diehard and loyal Obsidian fan, but after experimenting egg, egg, eggs, eggs, I love eggs. Experimenting with Notion, I noticed both apps have their own strengths and weaknesses. If you're a power user of one and are interested in trying the other, I would highly recommend you watch my videos where I try each app for a week. If you learn something new, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel or newsletter for more helpful content. This has been John Maverick, stay mindful. Psst, please click on one of the videos, trust me, it'll be worth it.